What does it take to change the world? Sometimes it's looking at things from new and different angles, challenging conventions, and asking new questions. For 25 years, the Families and Work Institute has been changing lives for the better by studying the changing workplace, families, and communities, and turning research into action. They give us a barometer of what works for families in the workplace. They're there for people to go and find solutions. They're there for people to go and find community. In 1989, Ellen Galinsky and Dana Friedman joined forces to create a new kind of research institute, one that examined the intersection of people's experiences at work and in their families and communities. At that time, and really still today, people tend to compartmentalize. They tend to see work, family, community, children, adults, everybody has a little fiefdom that they study, and they don't see it as connected. People had studied personal or family life, people had studied work life, and no one had ever really put them together. The approach was groundbreaking, and from the beginning, people paid attention. I was working at IBM, and for us it was a slam dunk, something that you needed to be associated with if you wanted to be a player at the top level of decision making and workplace quality. It was actually in our beginning partnership with the Institute where we began to understand the importance of employee families. And the Institute has been instrumental in helping us understand how to guide that for the company. When you become a CEO, you never realize what you're in for. And you want to be the best possible leader you can be. And then you're, you realize, well, I need help. And my formative workplace thinking was heavily influenced by families and work institutes. In the 1990s, the Institute launched into its two signature ongoing research studies, the National Study of the Changing Workforce and its National Study of Employers. Companies were using the index to assess themselves. They were looking up what other companies were doing. They wanted to understand the research. They had data to show that workplace flexibility was no longer just a nice thing to do. They could show that it produced results, positive results for businesses. The radical idea here is that when you treat people as whole people, when you treat them with respect, when there's a culture of trust, that they give you back even more. And so this was a real business strategy. At the same time, the Institute was conducting cutting edge research on a wide range of issues affecting American families. Child development has been a major focus from the start. Ellen Galinsky will address why child care is important to our young children and what good care looks like. We need to talk about what children need. In 1999, the Institute's project, Ask the Children, offered Americans an unprecedented look at working parents through the eyes of their kids. Sometimes they bring stress home to the family and they don't mean to, but it comes home with the work that they've done that day. Understanding that what goes on in the lives of children is not just important because they're the children of our employees. It's important because they're the next generation of worker and we need to understand what their challenges are. The Institute's work was known everywhere, from corporate boardrooms to popular culture. In 2010, FWI's Mind in the Making distill the most advanced scientific research on how children learn into seven essential life skills. And in another example of turning research into action, the Institute has provided training to more than 6,000 teachers, principals, families, and pediatricians on how to cultivate those skills in children. These essential skills are so critical. Ellen Galinsky's work resonated with us because we knew that they were important, but we didn't have the research around them to make the case with our community. I see the book everywhere in every corner of our country, and the value and power of the book is that it's accessible, it's actionable, and it helps and support parents in a real way so that their dreams that they have for their kids can become a reality. In 2011, the Institute partnered with the Society for Human Resource Management to create its prestigious 
When Work Works Award. When Work Works was uh, created out of a need to sort of codify some of the best practices, When Work Works not only pulled together the best ideas, but showed the, the numerous options out there. Over the years, FWI has been sought out by several presidential administrations to help organize White House conferences on issues relating to children, families, and work. Flexible policies actually make employees more, not less productive. By continuing to research the changing workplace, family, and community from multiple angles, the Families and Work Institute always stays ahead of the curve. Without an organization like Families and Work Institute, we would not have the insights in what it takes to really move forward as a nation. They're working on behalf of families that uh, don't have a voice, that don't have uh, uh, big lobbying organizations, and uh, they're out there doing what I call frontline work. And probably as strong as anything that FWI does is they create the facts with really good studies and analysis. And it's a great place to be able to base a conversation on very tough issues and for leaders to make decisions associated with real facts. It's research to live and work and learn by, but our real mission is to help people thrive. From the smallest baby to the oldest citizen and all of us in between, we want to continue to try to unlock the secrets of what helps us live to our full potential and thrive.